and welcome to this episode of Luthia Shorts. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a long promise thing, which is a pick comparison video. I'm going to play the same piece of music the same way four different times using four different picks. Each pick is made from a different type of material and each pick comes from a different kind of retail or price point. So um, hopefully you can have a listen and hear some kind of differences and, 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 and maybe make some decisions based on what you're looking for in a pick. Um, I'm going to tell you what these picks are now, but I'm not going to tell you what the pick is when I'm actually playing the piece of music and I'm going to put them in a different order to the way I explain them now. And I will write what order that is, what picks they are down in the uh, description down below so you can see later which picks they are. So, so you're not uh, influenced by what I tell you. Um, you can listen and, and, and make an objective um, opinion. But the picks in question are a vintage tortoiseshell pick. Um, full disclaimer, this is made from vintage shell material that I picked up on a flea market. This material is illegal, it's protected under CITES law. Um, please don't contact me if you have any questions about this. I, I, I simply just won't answer. Um, next up we have the blue chip TAD50, which I think is around 1.5. Ah yeah, the, uh, the tortoiseshell pick, that's around 1.4 millimeters. Um, blue chip TAD50, that's um, 1.4, 1.5 millimeters or so, I think, and that retails for around uh, 35 euros, 35 dollars, something like that. Then we have a Wagon 1.4 millimeter mandolin pick. These retail at 15 euros for um, two, I think. And then last up on the list, we have the Dunlop Prime Tone Sculpted Plectra, they call it. This is 1.4 millimeters, and these sell for three of them for 10 euros, something like that. Okay, um, enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time. Merry Christmas.